how you doing? Welcome back. Today we got two jars of wine. We have this cranberry apple that I started on 1022. And then we have this banana. The only reason I know it's bananas is because I took them out about two weeks ago. For some reason I decided not to put a label on it, so I have no idea when I started it. But I do see that there's some floaties on the top. A big layer of lease on the bottom. So we're going to use an auto siphon and siphon it into another jar. And then we're also going to use an auto siphon and a bottling wand and try to get about three to four bottles of wine out of that cranberry apple today. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with this cranberry apple here. And uh, we're going to siphon it off into this pitcher I got over here. And then from the pitcher, we're going to siphon it into the bottles. So we have a one gallon pitcher, and this is called a siphoning wand. It's an auto siphon. Uh, you just kind of, it's got a little plastic tip we'll put on the bottom here so it doesn't suck up as much lease. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and siphon it all off into this jug and then into the bottles. I'm only going to put it about halfway down here so I don't suck up anything off the bottom until I get to the very bottom. We'll just give this three or four little tugs here and she'll start going. This has got a very familiar smell. And we're going to save a little taste for myself. Well, it's like a little peach color. There's a little floaties in the bottom there, but that'll be all right. got a familiar smell. I don't know exactly what it is, but let's give it a shot. Hey, that don't taste bad. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to try that one again. So we got a little less than a gallon out of that, and we are going to go ahead and take this uh, auto siphon and Take this lease cap off. Go ahead and put that down into there for a second. And we will uh, put this bottling wand on. So this little thing has a uh, valve down here at the bottom. Whenever this valve is pushed in, it'll let liquids out. So when you pull it up, it'll quit. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get this started. So we'll put that down in there and leave that just like that. And give this a few pumps. And let it get started. It's going to fill. We're going to let it fill all the way up to here. And then when we pull this wand out, it will actually come back down to here, which will make a perfect bottle of wine. This part's what makes me nervous. Getting all the way up here to the top, I'm afraid I'm going to spill it. And boop, there it is. Pull it out and go to your next one. Looky there. Let's go ahead and have another taste. I think the cranberry and the apple is a good mix. Well, 
One thing I like about this jug is it's got milliliters on the side. These are 750 milliliter bottles. And it says I have 1,000 milliliters left. So we have enough room to get four bottles and then some. I got these little pop tops here just in case. Well, it looks like we got uh, four bottles and uh, half of a uh, little pop top. Well, let me get all this cleaned up and then we'll go ahead and rack this. Alright, I got everything all cleaned up and sanitized with star sand now. and It's been drying for a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, rack this one off into this container and then we'll take it from this container and then put it into a jar. Well, that smells weird. It don't exactly smell like bananas, but it's probably only two or three weeks old. Um, yeah, if you see these bubbles on this uh, siphon here, it's, it's star sand. I just sanitized it just a little bit ago. Um, we are going to go ahead and put the sleece guard back on here. Because uh, there is a lot of lease in the bottom, and I do not want that in this jug. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Lease is, uh, I don't know how to explain it, close to like pulp. Uh, it is the yeast and the sugars that didn't get dissolved and the uh, banana floaties, basically, little pieces of banana floating in there. Uh, we don't want none of that in here. So we're going to uh, take it out of this jug and put it into this one and then siphon it into another one and let it set so all that stuff settles even more. We need a nice clear wine instead of a foggy hazy wine. This will take a little bit. I'll probably fast forward through this so you don't have to watch it. I got a few floaties in there, but it'll be all right. Um, we always lose a little bit. It's better to lose a little than to get some nastiness in there. But, yeah, that's all floaties and nasty gunk that we don't want in our wine. That's why I use this siphon. Well, once again, let me get this all cleaned up, and then we'll put it in the other jar. Okay, we're back now. Um... This is our banana. Uh, I've siphoned it out of the original fermentation jar into this. Now we're going to put it into this for a uh, secondary uh, or conditioning. Just depends on whatever you want to call it. Um, we're just trying to get some more of the, the floaties to settle here. So we're just basically just going to siphon it off like we did before. Now I left this little lease cap off because we don't have all that much lease in here and if it, we do have any it's floating in there so we ain't going to be able to get it anyway. We want to get everything that we can off the bottom of this so we don't waste that much. Seems to be coming out pretty clear. Um, we're just going to have to let it sit for a while and see how it tastes. I'm all new to this wine stuff so... I don't know exactly how it's going to be. Well, there's the end of that. And just like always, we're going to have to get a little taste for myself. Uh, this is going to be pretty young, so I ain't going to take a very big one. I 
do get the banana smell now. Yeah, I, I got a banana taste. Come on, kind of reminds me of a banana milkshake. But we'll let this set for a while. It's a little cloudy, it's not too bad. We're just going to go ahead and put an airlock on this. Put this lid on here. Got this airlock. Um, this is Star Sand. This is my sanitizer I use to rinse with everything. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Um, this just keeps the bugs out and doesn't let any oxygen back in. It'll start bubbling again here in a little bit, I hope. If you got any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Yep, almost forgot to write out my labels.